What's up guys? I hope everyone's staying healthy and safe. If we haven't met before, I'm Jay Kyes and I'm currently studying for my Masters of Science in Holistic Nutrition. I'm obsessed with health and nutrition and longevity and my ultimate goal in life is to reach a healthy age of 100. So I post videos on this channel to share what I've learned so you too can optimize your health and live to your greatest potential. So what is today's video about? Something no one likes, but we all think about more than we like to admit, aging. Uh, look, no one likes aging, but if you look into the scientific literature, we do have some control as to how fast or how slow we age. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a tea recipe that I use daily to target the mechanisms of aging, as well as the science uh, backing it. So I have the best chance of keeping my body young and vibrant as long as possible. And you too can use this to stay young and vibrant. And look, this is not a panacea or a cure-all, right? You can't just have a sedentary life and eat junk food, eat crap food all the time, and drink this tea every day and expect to ex slow the, uh, the mechanisms of aging in your body. But it's something that you can add to a healthy lifestyle and diet to maximize your body's anti-aging capabilities. So let's get to it. So first, let's give a quick explanation as to what causes aging in our bodies. Now, aging is a very complicated process. It involves many different mechanisms, but there are two factors with robust scientific literature tied directly to aging. And these two factors are oxidative stress, and chronic inflammation. So what is oxidative stress? So inside of our bodies, we have billions upon billions of chemical reactions taking place every second. Oxidation is a chemical reaction that involves the moving of electrons between molecules. Specifically, the molecules that give away or loses an electron is said to be oxidized. So uh, now if you think back to chemistry 101, electrons love to be in pairs. And a molecule with an unpaired electron is like a wolf on the prowl looking for another electron to hook up with. So inside of our bodies, there's this constant balancing act of instability and stability, breaking these molecules down, building these molecules back up, and exchanging these electrons. And our bodies are pretty good at this process, but they're not perfect. Sometimes a reaction results in a molecule with an unpaired electron, which we call a free radical. Uh, now remember, unpaired electrons always are searching for that other electron to grab. So a free radical is just as the name implies. It's a molecule that's unstable, it's out of control, and is violently reactive with its unpaired electron. These free radicals can start smashing into other molecules, causing damage to our cells and our protein and our DNA. So this accumulated damage over time is one factor that leads to the loss of cell function and leads to aging. So free radicals can also come from exogenous sources as well. Now exogenous means outside of our bodies. Some common sources of exogenous free radicals are air pollution, cigarette smoke, fried foods, alcohol, and pesticides. So it goes without saying that we should definitely avoid these as much as possible. So with all of these natural free radicals that come from our body's metabolic processes coupled with the free radicals that we are subjected to in our modern polluted world, our bodies better have a good defense system to fight all of this damage. And we do, and these are called antioxidants. Now, because antioxidant is a buzzword, everybody's heard of this, but what do antioxidants really do in our bodies? So an antioxidant is a molecule stable enough to donate an electron to a rampaging free radical and neutralize it, uh, reducing its capability to damage. Uh, you can think of the free radical like the Hulk breaking and destroying all of these structures inside of your cells and knocking into everything. And the antioxidant is the Black Widow that's able to control the Hulk, calm him down, turn him back into Bruce Banner. So again, we have endogenous antioxidants that our bodies create, but we also have exogenous antioxidants that we can get through foods. So to fight against the, this cell damage that leads to aging, we must eat foods jam-packed with antioxidants. Now the second factor that is tied directly to aging is called chronic inflammation. So inflammation is your body's natural response to something that harms it, like infections, injuries, and toxins. 
Uh, when something damages your cell, your body releases anti antibodies in an attempt to heal itself. Uh, so in the case of acute inflammation, this is a good thing. Uh, it's essential for the body to heal, so we want this. But there's also a more insidious damage to your body that causes chronic inflammation, which leaves your body in a constant state of alert. Uh, when you have chronic inflammation, your body's inflammation response can eventually start damaging healthy cells and DNA, tissues and organs, again uh, leading to accelerated aging. So what causes chronic inflammation? Well, a whole range of factors including air pollution, smoking, obesity, alcohol, and chronic stress. Uh, on top of this, as we age, our bodies tend to develop a chronic low-grade inflammation called inflammaging. And the reason for this is not so clear, but it's theorized that this stems from the accumulation of damage that happens in our bodies over time. So how, how do we fight this chronic inflammation? Well, again, we turn to foods that have anti-inflammatory properties. So to summarize all of this, if we want to give our bodies the best chance at fighting against aging prematurely, we should be consuming foods that, one, are high in antioxidants, two, are highly anti-inflammatory, and three, can target and reverse damage that's already been done to your cells. So get ready, because now it's time to introduce you to my anti-aging tea that I drink every day that has all three of these anti-aging factors. So here we go. So this is a very simple tea to make. It has only four ingredients, and the first ingredient is green tea. Green tea is packed with some of the most potent plant compounds that you can find. Now these plant compounds, they're called phytochemicals, and they have a host of beneficial effects for us when we consume them. And green tea contains a very powerful class of phytochemicals called polyphenols. Now these are also found in abundance in red wine, dark chocolate, and berries. Well, green tea has been shown in studies to be antioxidative and anti-inflammatory, so immediately it hits two out of our three uh, anti-aging criteria. So most of the health benefits of green tea have been attributed to one of its most potent phytochemicals. It's called epigallocatechin 3 gallate which is a mouthful. So usually you're just going to hear people say EGCG, referring to this phytochemical. Uh, so let's take a look at this study. Uh, in this study, researchers uh, gave a group of rats a long-term EGCG phytochemical compared to a group that has no phytochemical. So these researchers found that the EGCG group not only had improved oxidative and inflammatory markers, but they also had reduced kidney and liver damage, likely through the activation of a sirtuin enzyme responsible for an array of functions including regulation of aging, inflammation, and DNA repair. Now, granted, this study was done on rats, uh, since this type of lifelong study is nearly impossible to do on humans. Uh, but it's certainly promising. So boom, our first ingredient immediately satisfies all of our anti-aging criteria, which makes it our number one and most important ingredient in this tea. So the second ingredient in our anti-aging tea is blueberries. Uh, now I add freeze-dried blueberries uh, out of convenience since it's easier to add if you're working or if you're traveling. Um, but feel free to add frozen or fresh or whatever you like. Um, but why blueberries? Uh, so let's take a look at the science. Uh, first off, blueberries have one of the highest antioxidant levels of any common fruit. So the main antioxidant compounds in blueberries are also polyphenols, and the most potent of these polyphenols is called pterostilbean. So this study here shows that pterostilbean stimulates sirtuin activity, which may be a major factor in blueberries' potent antioxidant and DNA protective properties that you see in this study with ground blueberries and this study which produced a similar result using uh, freeze-dried blueberries. Uh, I encourage you to dive into the literature on blueberries. Uh, you'll find that it's truly a superfood with sundry benefits uh, ranging from anti-cancer protection, um, pr protection against heart disease, reducing blood pressure, as well as maintaining uh, brain function and improving memory. Uh, and these are just a few of the reasons I never miss a day without eating copious amounts of blueberries. So our third ingredient in the anti-aging tea is 
Ginger powder. So ginger powder, like blueberries, seems to be one of the foods with the most robust research. This is most likely because of the incredible anti-inflammatory properties of ginger. Uh, in fact, according to the Dietary Inflammatory Index, ginger is listed as uh, the second most potent anti-inflammatory food, losing out only to turmeric. Now, I'm a huge fan of turmeric as well, and I'll be doing a, a whole host of videos on the benefits of turmeric in the future. Uh, but putting turmeric into an anti-aging tea uh, just didn't seem right, you know, coupling it with blueberries. So uh, we'll leave that for another video. But if you're a fan of uh, ginger and turmeric, um, Trader Joe's has a really great uh, ginger turmeric uh, tea that uh, you can go buy it if you want. Um, but for our anti-aging tea, we're going to stick with ginger. Uh, so where is the science to back up the inflammation butt-kicking power of ginger? Well, it's right here. Uh, this is a meta-analysis, which is a statistical analysis that looks at the results of multiple scientific studies to determine trends. Uh, so this meta-analysis analyzed 20 studies on the effect of ginger supplementation on markers of inflammation, oxidative stress, and found that ginger supplementation has a significant effect on inflammatory and oxidative stress markers. So this is why ginger makes the cut for our third ingredient in our anti-aging tea. So we're down to our last ingredient. Now this is my secret ingredient that uh, not many people know about, but this is an ingredient that I came across um, in my research on herbal supplementation and my research uh, on resveratrol. Now if resveratrol sounds familiar to you, that's because it's the age-defying phytochemical that's found in red wine. Uh, you know, that uh, phytochemical that your alcoholic aunt always cites when she's uh, justifying that 10 a.m. glass of red wine. Uh, well, that's the phytochemical that's also present in spades in this very aggressive plant called Japanese knotweed. This is our fourth ingredient in the anti-aging uh, tea. So what is all this fuss about resveratrol anyway? Um, so remember our, our friendly phytochemical pterostilbene from blueberries? Well, resveratrol is like pterostilbene's better known, sexier cousin. Uh, they both belong to a class of phytochemicals called stilbenes. And uh, like pterostilbene, resveratrol is also a potent sirtuin activator, which means it confers onto us these amazing anti-inflammatory and DNA protecting properties. And Japanese knotweed is a great way to get our resveratrol without the dangers of drinking alcohol. So that's it guys. So these are the four ingredients in my anti-aging tea. All you have to do is take these four ingredients, throw them into a teapot, steep it in hot water for about three to four minutes and you're good to go. Uh, so here's what it looks like. So that's it, my anti-aging tea. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I truly appreciate it. If you found this video helpful, remember to press like and subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff for me. I really appreciate it. Um, and share this with somebody who's interested in getting their health on track. This is why I created this channel, to help people. So if you have any questions on health or nutrition, please leave them in the comments below and I will respond. Look guys, this is my life's passion and I will cherish every opportunity that I get to help anyone who needs it. Uh, everyone have an awesome day and I'll see you at 100.